So here's a video of just yeah, the highlights of all the Coronet videos throughout the year. When we look back, we did, we got quite a lot achieved on the boat. So I hope you enjoy the short video on the highlights. And then we'll have a chat on the end with some of the things that we're going to work on in the next year. I'm starting a new series now on a boat called Dubai Coronet, which is a 44 foot Coronet yacht built in 1976. I've owned the boat for approximately 20 years and we've done a lot of diving off this boat. The work that sparked this, that me deciding to make videos on the boat was we've just had to rebuild the heat exchangers. You can see here they're in pretty poor shape. They hadn't been maintained by myself. I didn't know I had to maintain them. I didn't know about the anodes. But we found this company in Sharjah and what a tremendous job they did, as you can see, in rebuilding them. First class work, um, probably as good as new. You saw earlier how we rebuilt the heat exchanger. Now you're going to see the heat exchanger being installed. So our first time lapse video, really good watching them work. The guys from Volvo Penta really knew what they were doing. In this video, we're going to go through everything we've done externally to the boat um, to give you an idea of how much work was involved and the quality of work um, that was done. We really um, renewed everything on, on the outside of the boat from hatches, new windlass, we installed new hatches, um, we um, completely re-engineered the rail system, we fitted a black water tank, we put lights in, um, the boat was completely repainted, you see it looks superb. Um, we redid the flybridge, coming up for this year we will redo that dash as we've put a lot of new stuff on and moved things around. We've still got the um, windshield to put back. But really, she looks good. Full safety equipment, two life rafts. Um, we redid the aft deck. We've got beautiful carpet on there. Um, nice um, cool boxes all over the place. This is a big one. And then two small ones under the rear seats. So all in all, I'm very pleased with the way um, the boats come out. We installed a sink. Um, these are our, were our life jacket holders. Um, a table with fiddle, foldable one. But you've got to have a barbecue, right? We modified it so it works better in wind. Um, we made this custom swim platform with a um, superb ladder. really works well for a diver fully kitted. Handrails, gas in. We put new propellers on. Um, we pull the boat out once or twice a year to do the hull. And we replaced, put more modern port lights in and she looks a dream. In this episode, I'm going to take you through all the work we've done to the electrical systems to upgrade them and bring them back to better than original. The electrical system on the boat had been an absolute mess and to be, to be frankly honest, dangerous. So we took the whole thing apart and rebuilt it to better than original. Um, so we've now got a very safe main supply, shore power supply, you can see here we've got everything in um, we can also get some mains power at sea and um, we have a, an inverter fitted um, the batteries are now very safe and if we do if one set of batteries does go flat on the engine it's a simple changeover switch to restart it um, this was probably the most difficult task we have faced on the boat but just look at the quality of electrics now everything is done this short video is just to show you how to do an oil change. We're going to change the oil now on Dubai Coronet. So for each engine, you need 20 litres of oil and two oil filters. This is SA15-40 Voyager from Adnock, a reputable company. The first job is we're going to remove the old oil. After we've got all the engine oil out, we'll then remove the two oil filters. We're using a scrap strap wrench and we just gently undo the filter. So 
So now we're, we're gonna just check the zinc anodes. We've got four in each engine, one in the heat exchanger, one in the after cooler, and then in the, in the engine and gear oil coolers. So we're just gonna take out the heat exchanger one first. We've still got zinc left. We lost about 75% of the zinc. Now we're gonna remove the intercooler anode. So you can see we, we've still got a good amount of zinc left. Now we're gonna look at the engine oil cooler anode. It's a bit surprising that it's gone, but it is a much smaller anode, as you can see. Now we'll look at the gear oil cooler. So this one has lasted much longer than the engine oil cooler one, which, which I find a bit strange. And off we go, it's a small journey to the boat lift. They've got everything ready, so in we go. Engines to neutral, switch them off, and then they just lift effortlessly. And it's literally a three minute drive with the boat lift to the yard. There we go. We had let barnacles build up a bit on the unprotected areas because we knew we were going into dock a few weeks before. That's a crack in the exhaust. Um, luckily it did not go through to the hull. But in general, the anti-fouling was still in, in pretty good condition. Um, we had to cut a section out because we could see debris in the exhaust, but we couldn't get it all out by pulling. So we decided to remove a section. There it goes. It just puts it and wedges it in place. Here's the carbon fiber going on. Again, makes it look so easy. So once the carbon fiber had been done, I just applied the filler and sanded it and then made it ready to put on a primer coat. Here you go. You couldn't see that a repair had been made. Really, really pleased with that. So then it was time to get on with them preparing the anti-fouling. The guys got onto this, it didn't take long. At the same time, we're cleaning up the props, the shafts, the supports. Here's the lights all on and working. So there we go. Virtually complete by this stage. Just look at it, look how nice it looks. And there's the new anode on. We checked for continuity. The continuity was there, so we know it provide full protection and ready to go back in the water. There we go, in position, let the boat down, unhook, and out we go back to the berth. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, so what's, what work have I got to do on the boat in the coming months? Well, we've started work on the forward cabin. We've got the um, upholstery done. We're now just um, sanding all the woodwork and we're gonna paint it white. Um, we've installed some nice lights. So that space, which I kind of left alone like a store for 20 years, has now become a usable cabin. We're going to put a freezer on the boat because I stay on the boat a lot more now. So it's, it's nice to have a freezer for keeping some food and stuff. You know, I, I make my own dog food. Wolf comes on so we can keep his food in there as well. What else really? Just kind of general maintenance. I'm still deciding do I put a generator or not. It's a nice to have, but it is another thing that I've got to maintain. Um, we are upgrading all, all the um, woodwork now. Um, the, we've just given up with varnish, so we're going with sanding and, and regular teak oil. That seems to work well in the conditions here. Um, but besides that, regular engine maintenance. Um, we have got a problem with one of the um, gear oil sensors failing, which I've got to go and find a new one now because the, the local Volvo agent is unable to source it um, but yeah generally we're just going to use the boat a lot in 2021 and dive and barbecue as, as often as we can so thanks for your support during 2020 and let's let's look forward to a great 2021 yeah.